The Data Presentation Tool, referred to as the DPT, is a quality improvement tool created by the Canadian Primary Care Sentinel Surveillance Network, which allows you to visualize and explore your patient panel. In this video, we will show you how to navigate the search results page in the DPT. Let's say you run a search to look for a specific group of patients, such as those identified as having diabetes. The results page will show you a number of properties of the search and provide multiple options for exploring the data further. We will first look at the navigation options in the top bar. This section shows basic properties of the search including the name of the search and the number of patients returned. This button with the letter I next to the search name brings up a window with the criteria used for the search, as shown here. This function is helpful for tracking the progression of more complex searches. Now, let's move on to the row of buttons within the navigation bar. First, the new search button allows you to create a brand new search. The extend the current search button returns you to the search page to add more criteria to the current search. And the save icon enables you to save the current search. For more on this, check out our video on creating a custom search on YouTube. Next, clicking the list button will bring up a list of the patients in the search. If re-identification is enabled, the patient details such as name and address will show up here. See our video on re-identification for more details on this. Finally, clicking on details will take you to a new page that allows you to view the individual patient records in the Simpson data. Below the navigation options are the statistics for the average age, body mass index, and proportion of patients living in rural postal codes. The main bar graph on the page shows the age-sex distribution of the patients in the search. Each bar shows the number of female and male patients within each age bracket. To the right of the page is a pie chart that shows the proportion of patients that have been seen over various time periods. The pie chart has interactive features that allow you to narrow the current search. For example, to find patients with diabetes who have not been seen in over 36 months, click that sector of the pie chart and the search will be updated immediately. Doing so results in a change on all the corresponding graphs on the search results page. In the top right section of the page is a table listing 8 of the Simpson conditions as well as the number of comorbidities. Clicking on the numbers in blue will restrict the search. For example, by selecting the number 79 beside depression, the search will be updated to show results for patients with diabetes and depression. In this video, we have shown you how to navigate the search results page in the DPT, and we encourage you to try it out for yourself. If you are interested in joining Sipson, join now at sipson.ca. For more videos like these, visit the Sipson YouTube channel.